Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I wanted to talk about my brushes just because I get a lot of requests and questions regarding them even though I don't think it's that, I don't know, I don't think it's entertaining or juicy, but if you guys asked for it, I'm gonna give it to you, deliver it, deliver the information to you via video. <laughs> so I have done a video similar to this when I first started out my channel, which is very cringy. I hate it. But I don't really want to refer people back to that video anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to actually do two parts to this video. Today I want to talk about my face brushes and then on Wednesday I'm going to upload the part two where I'm going to talk about my smaller brushes as well as my eye blending brushes. So today I just wanted to quickly get through some of my favorite brushes with you guys. I'm not going to be doing an application demo just because that's going to take forever. Like that's going to take a month for me to film. So we're just going to talk about the brushes and why I like them, what I use them for, and my recommendations. So if you want to see all of that, then stay tuned. The first brush that I have is the Morphe brush. This is the Morphe E34. I use this as a blush brush just because it fits so well on my cheeks. It's really nice and dense, but it has this nice flexibility that when I put it on my cheek, it just conforms to it so well. And it doesn't shed, which is a quality that I look for in all my brushes. I also look for the amount of time the brush can last for, and I found that this brush has lasted me Ooh, how old is this brush now? It's lasted me two years, never shedded, ne never done me dirty, and I really appreciate that. And by the way, I'm grabbing everything out randomly from this cup. Nothing special. I didn't wash all my brushes because I'm a normal human being. It don't work like that. Um, so the next brush that I just grabbed is the Morphe M523. I could honestly care less for this brush. As you can see, I have some bronzer on it, and I just feel like... It's a little patchy. In all honesty, it makes a lot of my bronzers, a lot of my br blushes just look patchy and splotchy on me, even though that I know the blush or bronzer works really, really well. And I don't know, I just don't think that this is one I really gravitate towards. Plus, it sheds, so I could honestly just throw this out. The next brush that I have is the infamous Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. This is a really beautiful brush. I understand why everyone loves it so much. I think the only con that I have about this brush in particular is the fact that it makes my foundation super full coverage. And I know some people love their foundation full coverage, but for me, I like something a little bit more light airy, a little bit more natural. And so whenever I apply my foundation with this, I always follow it up with a damp sponge and I just press the foundation into my skin. Other than that, I don't really have a problem with it. It doesn't shed, it doesn't get all weird when I wash it. And I just think that this is well worth the hype. Next one that I have is the AOA Studio High Def Brush in F6. Now, I actually really like this brush, being that it is a dual fiber brush, because if you watched my Shot Miss A, you know, brush review, then you you know that I compared it with this MAC brush that is actually my sister, so I don't know the numbers anymore, I'm sorry. But I did used to have the MAC brush myself, and the hair is shed, the, um, this part, whatever it's called, it got loose and it fell off and it was just a mess and being that MAC is so expensive, <laughs> it really irked me and it pissed me off actually because it's like, why? I barely got to use it, it didn't wash well, the brush hairs after I washed it the first time just felt so stiff and I washed it maybe like two, three times all different and it just wouldn't cooperate. So I'm glad that this one actually works. It's really nice to just blend out your powders or even just stipple on your foundation, which is what my sister actually does. I'm actually gonna show two brushes right now. I have the Shop Miss A AOA Studio High Def Brush in F8 and the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. Now, I accidentally didn't wash off all the soap on this one. <laughs> my bad. But um, these are essentially the same brush, and if you watch my Shop Miss A review, you already saw this part. But I think that they're the same. This is a dollar. This is, I think, $25. You can get 10% off if you use my discount code. This one, it's the same. I just feel like the only main difference is the price and the shape. Now this one is a little bit bigger, so if you have a larger surface area on your face, you would probably prefer the Sigma one. And if you just have a smaller face and you just wanna try this type of brush out, then definitely go for the Shop Miss A one. 
texture wise I feel like they are very similar there's nothing too different about them honestly and I'm not gonna say I like one over the other because they're the exact same brush so you kind of decipher which one you would prefer or which one you would just ditch here I have the Delium Tools 941 Tapering Highlight Brush. I do not use this for a highlight brush. In fact, I use it as a blush brush. And I feel like this is a perfect brush for a lot of beginners just because you can dip into any bright highlight you want, any sheer highlight you want, and it will just apply the perfect amount. Like you literally just swirl it in, tap off just once and then just apply it to your cheeks and it magically just looks good. Um, unlike the Morphe one, this one is dense, but this one, excuse me, my voice, I'm like a little boy, but this one is very flimsy. Like it's just, mm-hmm, it's very flimsy. So that makes it really easy to blend out your blush or even you could use it as a like light bronzer brush or even, you know, as a highlight for your little shoulders if you're into that. Um, this one is just a really nice brush to have. You should at least have one flimsy brush in your brush collection just because it's easy. It blends out things effortlessly. I have the AOA Studio High Def Brush in F9. This is actually one of my favorite brushes so far. I think that this is perfect for cream contour, powder contour, whatever you want. It's really good to just chisel it out right here and then blend it up. I just cleaned this so I'm so happy to share it with you guys because girl I didn't wash it for like two weeks and it was literally disgusting but it's just so good and I highly recommend this one just because I actually use it every single day except for today because I just you know took it out from washing it. I have the AOA Studio High Def Brush F7. I used it to put highlight under my eyes as well as bake the sides of my cheek. And then when I was done, I actually used the same brush and then I just swept it off. This is really, really nice. I didn't expect myself to like this brush in particular just because I said, oh, I don't know if I like this shape. Like it's really weird. It's round yet it has a really sharp edge to it. and. You know, lo and behold, it actually became one of my favorite brushes to use with powder. I feel like I have a flawless application, especially in my forehead area. I feel like I have a lot of texture right here in the middle of my eyebrows. And when I use this brush, I feel like it just smooths everything out and it looks really, really flawless. I have the Marc Jacobs um, no name brush that I always use in my tutorials. This one was actually a gift from my sister. It's from the Your Place or Mine brush set. And I actually don't know how I feel about the price of these. I think the whole entire brush, it was like five brushes for $135. <laughs> Thank God it was a gift because I would have never bought it. But I just really enjoy this brush because it's large. It's one of the largest brushes that I have. Well, actually, I have a larger brush that I want to share with you guys. But this is the second largest brush that I have. And it really just pops on the color and then blends it out in like two seconds. And I know someone mentioned that in one of my videos. They were like, wow, you literally put on your contour in two seconds. And I said, you're right. You're right. It's the brush. I just think that this brush is really, really good. And if you have the money to splurge on it, then I highly recommend it. But I mean, if you don't, it's okay. There are other brushes out there for you to try. Um, this is just a really good brush if you're eyeing it. Here I have the Delium Tools 943 Face Shaping. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with this particular brush because this is their new Studio 8 brush and it's very flaky. It's not flaky. What am I saying? It's shedding. And I really enjoy brushes with white hairs on them because they make me feel really luxurious. And I just feel like this brush could have been a little bit more held together, but it still does work even though it is shedding. I don't know how long it's going to last. You know, sometimes brushes shed for that one time and then after that, that's it. They're, they work perfectly. Um, that could be the case with this one. I only washed this one once, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't really know if I recommend it quite yet, but it's good. This is the other brush that came in the Marc Jacobs Your Place or Mine kit. This is the regular foundation brush. And let me tell you guys, every single time I get a brush set that has a foundation brush in it, I literally throw it away or I'll give it to somebody else. Like I don't want it, but I kept this one because it was Marc Jacobs and because the kit was so expensive that I literally couldn't throw it away. It's so hard for me to like just let it go. But I just have to say like I don't like it. And I'm not afraid to say it because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I just feel like it's way too dense and 
it just gives me this weird application like whenever I bake with it it looks weird it's not doing its job when I put my what did I use this for I used it for Halloween and I used my water activated paint to paint my face it just looked so streaky it just didn't work out for me and I wanted to work just because it's so expensive but I can't force something that doesn't work you know I can't force it to work this is the biggest brush that I own. This is the Delium Tools 991.5 Highlighting Fan. Now this isn't your typical highlighting brush. You know, this is definitely like a face brush to powder your entire face. This is really bougie. <laughs> In fact, like, it just covers your whole face. You literally just need to do this. Do this and you're done. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy this brush for some odd reason. I have had several BH Cosmetics brushes that are in this type of shape and I don't really like it just because it felt flimsy and it just didn't feel... I don't know, I just didn't feel like it did a lot for me. However, my friend really loves like the BH cosmetic brushes that are shaped like this because she loves it for contour. I personally don't, but this one I actually like because it's flimsy and it holds a lot of product in it. My sister gave me the Fenty Beauty foundation brush and I do have a Fenty foundation but the reason why you're not seeing me use it on camera or anywhere at all is because it's not my shade and I feel like, side note, the Fenty foundation oxidizes and it's so hard for me to find my shade even though that there is a wide selection of shades. But I mean when I did apply the foundation with the brush it looked really good. I haven't played around with this brush too much. I just washed it and I only used it one time so far it hasn't shed. It's a really really dense brush and it's so far so good. Nothing to complain about. I just need to work with it more. I have a BH Cosmetics fan brush. This was actually one of my first BH Cosmetics brushes and I'm surprised that this has lasted me this long because all of my other BH Cosmetics brushes has not lasted this long. And I use this brush particularly for blending out my highlights. So if I apply something too harsh, I'll just take this brush and just dust it over because this one is really, really flimsy. This on its own for application is not the best. Um, that's why I use it to just blend things out and I like to keep it for that reason. I have the Delium Tools 966 Duo Fiber Face Shading. I haven't played around with this one too much. I've used it once in my butterfly tutorial and I want to play with this one a little bit more. I want to use it for contour, but it's a really nice like squared brush. I think it's really cool. I really don't have an opinion other than it's really soft and it's pretty dense as well. Here I have the AOA Studio High Def Brush F10. Now I've had two different brushes that are in this exact shape but I actually did not like them. I'm not saying that to just be biased because I'm an affiliate. I know a lot of people are so shady towards me like girl I don't lie like I believe in karma so if I lie that's gonna come back and eat me alive. But anyway, I had two different brushes that are in this exact shape. Now they're flat, short, and very, very dense. I've had one from BH, which was way too thin, and then I had an e.l.f. one, which was way too thick. So I just felt like I couldn't get the application that I wanted to. And so when I got this one, I was like, okay, let me see how it works with baking. It worked really, really well, and that's what I use this for. And it's also really great for defining your contour when you have cream contours. I'm just gonna finish off this video with my highlighting brushes. Now I have the Morphe M501. This is actually a really, really good brush. I, I understand why everyone uses it all the time. You know, it's that one thing where you see a lot of Morphe affiliates use and you're just like, is that really a good brush? And I feel like you have to try it in order for you to know if you like it or not. And I just feel like it gives me the most precise highlight while making everything look blended out. It's really Really nice really affordable and I highly recommend this brush if you're thinking about a Morphe brush the next one that I have is a Sigma high cheekbone highlighter F03 I did have the shop miss a brush that was very similar to this but my best friend actually needed a highlighting brush so I actually gave that one to her but this the shop miss a one is actually a dupe for this one as well as the Anastasia um, highlighting brush that looks exactly like this I just think that this is your average highlighter brush. I mean, you honestly can't go wrong with the shape, the size, it blends out really nice, but it's not as flimsy as the M501. This one is a little bit more dense, so it'll give you a more precise highlight as well as a more concentrated highlight. Now, if you want a really concentrated highlight, 
I got you, girl. I got you. So I have the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer F64. I know that this is a concealer brush. I know. But I didn't want to use it as a concealer. I didn't buy it for a concealer brush. No. I bought it for my highlight, okay? And I just feel like this is really, really good. Now, if we're talking about density, I'm going to say this is the least dense, this is in the middle, and this is the most dense. And it's not dense to the point where you can, like, buff in your foundation dense. Um, I mean, you could if you wanted to. I mean, it's a concealer brush. But it's really, really nice to really just press that found foundation. <laughs> <laughs> to really press that highlight into your skin and it's really really beautiful. I love this so much Now the last highlighting brush that I have is the Sigma strobing fan f42 now Like I said I've had this brush for a very long time I think I've had it for like four to five years and every single time I apply my highlight with this I'm like, oh, it's there like it's cool, but this for some weird reason, it's like a perfect hybrid of the BH fan brush and like one of these, one of these brushes. Like it's so good. Like it's like all in one. It's really, really thin and dense. So then when you apply your highlight, it's like boom. It's so intense. I use this brush in my Sigma Chroma Glow highlighting review and I really, really enjoy it. So if you want to get your hands on it, then I highly recommend it. Oh, and I should mention that Sigma does have a two-year warranty on all their brushes. So if you're iffy about them or if you get one that's defected, you can just get another one for free, you know, with a warranty or however many you need. Um, that's just how it goes. So it's good quality brushes with a warranty. As always, I hope you guys really enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.